एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Have you ever wondered that why the technical drawings that we make in India is different from the drawings that we generally use in foreign countries? To know the answer, watch the video. Welcome to S Chand Academy. I am Anmol Bhatia, and we'll be having a concept clarity on the topic orthographic projections. The similar. uh concepts the detailed concepts would be available in the book by s chand publishing if you don't have the copy of the book click the link below in the description box to download your copy so we'll be covering uh, the concept of orthographic projection and this is the lecture 5 of the series and the contents of this module is as follows we have already covered the concept of principle of orthographic projections the basic conventions and introduction to the topic that thing we have already covered and in this topic we would be covering the content which is the projection of points and then we'll come across the different concepts of lines and planes later so in my previous video i have introduced you to the concept of projection of points and here we'll have a detailed description about the different situations and different cases with the length values or with the descriptive value of the points so here what happens we'll be keeping uh, the objects in quadrant wise in quadrants so in the first situation we'll be keeping the object in the first quadrant so here if i keep the object in the first quadrant what do i have i have this object as a and the name of the point is capital a now the observer is looking at the object from the front so if the object observer is looking at the object from the front he'll get the front view as a dash in the vertical plane and if the observer is looking at the object from the top he'll get the top view here on the horizontal plane now as per the procedure i have told you earlier also in my previous video that we want to rotate this horizontal plane like this so when this horizontal plane is rotated this point will be rotated also and it will come to this place which is a so you'll get a projector on that projector you will have the front view and exactly below that front view you will get the top view value now if i talk about uh, the cases in which the dimensions or distances are also mentioned in the book you will come across certain questions that says that the object is 50 mm above hp the object is 50 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp so you need to identify the quadrant first from there let's say this is the vertical plane and this one is the horizontal plane so the object is above hp they are saying so it is 50 mm above hp that means hp uh, above hp is this value it the object may lie in first quadrant or in the second quadrant but additionally they are saying the description about the vp also so what is it in front of vp they are saying so the object is ahead of vp that means the object is there in the first quadrant right and this is the situation that i have already talked about that the object is there in the first quadrant that means if i have to describe it lengthwise so i have this distance as 50 mm so this distance is given to me as 50 mm and in front of vp's distance is given to me as let's say 10 mm right so this 50 mm distance will come here only the distance 50 will come at this place only so the front view will be above this at a distance of 50 and this distance will be rotated 
in this manner and this distance would be 10 mm this value would be 10 mm there correct so how do we represent this type of structure or this type of situation in the drawing so exactly what we need to make let me tell you so in the drawing uh, you have to make the x y line if this is a question given to you so in the drawing what you need to do you need to make a line which is the x y line and you have to make a projector let's say i'll be using a light line to indicate a projector so for the projector light line is to be used and on that light line indicate two points one is this point namely a dash and secondly you have this point which is a the concept is this similar concept and the distance is also be indicated and in order to indicate the distance you have to show it with the help of the dimensional line so here i have the first dimensional line and here i have the second dimension line so the first dimensional line indicates that the dimension here is what 50 mm so this dimension is 50 mm and in the second part you have this dimension which is 10 mm correct so the concept is if this is 50 this is also 50 and this is 10 which is the in front of distance it would be rotated and this will give me the distance value as 10 mm need not to mention mm anywhere because in the title block we have already mentioned all dimensions are in mm so this is the case when the object is there in the first quadrant so the question that the students generally ask is do we need to remember or do we need to always make this rough diagram and then finally proceed for making the exact projections so my answer is you have a shortcut and that shortcut is this case the distance which is associated with hp is always linked with the front view and the distance which is associated with vp is always linked with the top view this is the shortcut so what you do you identify the object first that object is in which quadrant let's say if the object is in first quadrant so you make the xy line on that xy line you make a projector and above uh, xy line you have the point which is a dash that indicates the front view and below there you have the point which is a that indicates the top view indicate those distances which is 50 and 10 as per this shortcut otherwise you know the concept now let us come to the next situation next case in which the point is there in the second quadrant uh, if the point is there in the second quadrant let's say this is the object a and this lies in the second quadrant in the question you would be given the situation that the point is 50 mm above hp 50 mm above hp and let's say 10 mm behind vp okay so 50 mm above hp that means it may lie in first quadrant or in the second quadrant and behind vp means uh, beside uh, behind vp is this uh, case that means this is in the second quadrant now if the object is in the second quadrant i'll keep the object here and from the front if i watch that that object i'll get the front view here and if i watch that object from the top i'll get the top view there now as per the concept i need to rotate it 90 degree clockwise so when this is rotated 90 degree clockwise so both of them comes together so this part is there now as per the shortcut we need to proceed what is the shortcut the shortcut is uh, initially you need to make the xy line right so the xy line is produced and then you have to draw the projector with the help of light line and as per the statement you identified that the object is in the second quadrant so you make the object or make the front view and the top view both in the uh, above 
xy line situation on the projector only after that indicate the dimensions hp's distance is always linked with the front view i have told you and vp's distance is always linked with the top view so this distance is of hp and this part is 50 mm and this distance is of vp which is of 10 mm so this is to be indicated as a part of the question which was there in the second quadrant similar situation is for the third quadrant case in which it is opposite of the first quadrant and you have the similar situation for the fourth quadrant in which it is opposite of the second quadrant so this is the situation let us have a look at uh, a summarization of all these if the object is there in the first quadrant you have the front view above and below there you will get the top view if the object is in the second quadrant you will get both the views simultaneously above xy line if it is in the third quadrant you will get the front view below xy line and the top view above xy line and if it is in the fourth quadrant you will get both the views together uh, which is below the xy line so this is the situation and the shortcut that i have told you is hp's distance is always linked with front view and vp's distance is always linked with the top view now you can go for practicing the questions anywhere uh, from the book so we come to an end of the first part of the video in this uh, in this first part of the video we learned about the cases of projection of points and in which we had a detailed discussion on uh, the distance uh, description on the drawing and i have told you that hp's distance is always linked with the front view and the distance of vp is always linked with the top view you can also refer to the book by s chan publishing by clicking the link below in the description box if you find the concepts interesting uh, like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates thank you all rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder